So over the course of the last few months, one of the things I've been kind of obsessed with is tracking everything that I do. I want to know as much data about what I'm doing online and in my life as possible. I've started journaling a little bit more than I used to. I've installed applications that literally track every website that I go to and every app I use on my phone. And then I blog about it at the end of the month. I, I, I'm not the only one who does this. I actually stole this from uh, someone else. But I, I've truly become kind of obsessed with statistics. Now, it, it's, a, it's a weird thing because we obviously all rail against the idea of every corporation out there wanting all of our data. But I figured if they have the data, I want the data too. And I can kind of see... You know, am I spending way too much time on YouTube? The answer to that question is yes. Am I spending too much time on TikTok? The answer to that question is, of course, yes. Any amount of time spent on TikTok is too much. So the answer is probably always yes. But you get the idea. Like, I can kind of visualize where I'm spending all of my time. But it doesn't really end there. I want more data more. So one of the applications I found months and months ago and I've been tracking and using ever since is an application called Tautuli. Now I'm probably mispronouncing that but basically what this does is it ties into your Plex server and then tracks everything you and everyone who uses your Plex server watches and listens to. It, it tra tracks the amount of music you have in your libraries, the amount of libraries you have, amount of movies you have in your libraries, and all sorts of interesting data. It provides graphs. It shows you the history. It shows you who's online, what they're listening to. So if you are in a family who has access to the same Plexus account, you can kind of see what everyone's doing, how everything's performing. It's so cool. Now, I don't know that it's for everyone. You don't necessarily have to have this data in order to use Plex, obviously, but I think that it can both be useful and kind of neat. So today we're going to be looking at Tautuli. Let's go ahead and jump in. But before we do, if you leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd be really appreciative. So let's go ahead and take a look at mine. So first, actually, before we do, don't judge me on the, the movies and, and music, okay? I, I'm, I don't have good taste in any of those things. I just enjoy what I enjoy. So no judging. Otherwise, you know, I'll be mad about it. So all right. So <laughs> here is... Tautuli. Now, as you can see, it just on the home page, it just gives you the most watched movies, most popular movies, most watched TV shows, most played artists, and all sorts of stuff. Now, you can set this for a certain duration. You can set it for play count or play duration, anything that you want. And you can see all of this information here at a glance. So if you had somebody playing something, you can actually see the current activity here at the top. Now, I'm the only person in my family who uses this Plex server. Nobody else has really access to it or the inclination to use it. So I'm usually the only one that sees the application here or the activity here. But you can see the idea if you have a whole bunch of people, you have kids or whatever, you can kind of see what they're watching, what they have watched, what they're listening to, all that stuff right here. On your dashboard now this isn't all that they have of course you can actually, you can go here and see a, a set of graphs over what actually is going on on your server over time so daily play count by media type play count by day of the week hour of the day play count by top 10 platforms so if you have multiple people playing on different platforms who's listening and watching the most on your server so you know it divides it by movies, music, TV and shows, all that stuff. You can then also do stream type up here at the top. So what they're doing and how they're watching and all that stuff, play totals of certain things for certain months and stuff. So, and then you just go up here. If you, this is over the last 12 months, you can, if you wanted to set that to 24, you could do that. Not 245. I haven't been running it that often, but I, you know, I started in May, 2024 and you can see there's been some months where I just haven't watched anything. There's months there where I was watching a ton of stuff. I, my biggest issue with watching and listening to stuff lately is that I've just been using Apple music for all of my music, which I probably, I, I, I have streaming music problems. I, I really do. But anyways, you can get all of that information here. And that is really cool. You can see, I uh, actually list history of everything that certain users have done. You can sort this by movies, TV shows, music, live TV, all that stuff. You can filter that however you want. You can also kind of just see what platform people were listening to this stuff on, what they were listening to, how long they did it, and when they started it, all sorts of information. It's just co constantly tracking everything that you could believe to be tracked through Plex. And 
that's awesome. I, I really do think that that kind of information can be useful if you're a big Plex user. Now, I'm obviously not the biggest Plex user ever. I go in, I go in spurts, and I, I know I want to start using my local music library a little bit more, and this will come in useful then because I can then track what I'm listening to and stuff. So that is how Tuli. Now, a couple of things. First off, the, the best way I believe to install this is with their Docker container, but if you want to install it with Snap, that's also available. So I, I will put the installation instructions in the video description below or a link to them, and you can then see this. It's not hard at all. I've set mine up using Portainer, so if you wanted to use Portainer to do that, it's very easy. You can also find this as a docker compose file so if you don't want to use either of these options you just put that in there make sure you've created your volumes make sure you set your pid puid and guid in their time zone and make sure you're using a unique port here in this first number for this to work otherwise it won't work so docker is probably the easiest way but you can use snap as well all right so what what happens if you're using jellyfin because i know a lot of my offers audience are like well Matt Plex is proprietary garbage. They're constantly raising their prices. All that stuff. All that stuff is absolutely true. I understand. There is actually something called Jellystat that does basically the same thing. Now it's I don't know what this looks like. Actually, now I know what it looks like. They have screenshots. So it does basically the same thing, but for Jellyfin. So I will link to this in the video description below. So if you use Jellyfin, you can get the same stats as the rest of us who use Plex. And this is still maintained. It was just re released recently on May 1st as a new release. So there's that. So that is Tautuli. I really do think that this is a fantastic thing. I've had it running on, on my home server, like I said, since May of last year. And while I don't use Plex as often as I you know, wish to, given the fact that I do pay for it, I do like having these statistics available to me. And this allows me to do that. So that is Tautuli. If you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon. That link will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. There you'll find a weekly exclusive podcast that I release for all of my patrons. If you're interested in me rambling about stuff, you can check that out. You can also head on over to the store, which is available at shop.thelinuxcast.org. You can find hats like this one or t-shirts and stickers and backpacks and all sorts of stuff all the proceeds for that go directly towards helping me make more linux content for you guys so thank you so very much for your support thanks everybody for watching i wait a minute i did that wrong thanks everybody who supports me on patreon and youtube you guys are all absolutely amazing without you the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now so thank you so very much i i, I do know how to do an ending i do know how to do that uh, i just not very good at it apparently Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. I hope everyone has a wonderful day.